Hi, Sherry. Thanks for reaching out on uh, Facebook. My name is Diane from Wise Owl Digital, a marketing agency here in Cleveland. Um, and I'm going to shoot you a quick video with three things you can do to beat your competition online. I don't want to waste your time, so I'll keep this brief. If by the end of the video, you like what you heard, and you can see that I have a lot of tricks up my sleeve that can help your business grow, shoot me a message and we can chat. If you simply want to take this free attack plan and do it yourself, all that I ask is that you give me some feedback on the video. The three things I'm going to talk to you about today are content, citations, and backlinks. First off, content. Any of the words that are on your homepage, including what your pictures are saved as, is considered your, your uh, content. This gives the search engines an idea about what you offer and the areas that you're targeting. Having unique, authoritative content with keywords that people are searching for will help you rank. Um, Google likes to see 1,000 to 1,500 words to be optimized with Google um, or enough to beat your competition if your competition has more than that. Sometimes uh, some of the competitions have you know, a ton of words and, and you need to beat them to be able to beat them. Um, but so looking at your site here, um, I see that you have some, some you know decent content on here. But I see that a lot of it's like testimonials, reviews, things like that, um, or information about you. What I would want to see on a homepage is information about the company and the services you offer. Um, I realize you have services page that's going to detail them, but you kind of want to make sure that that homepage has a little bit of all your services, just a brief overview and you wanna make sure that it's targeting keywords that people are searching for. Um, and there's a lot of keyword tools out there to take a look and see how people word things when they look for services. So an example, private home care gets a lot of searches nationwide. Uh, home, home care assistance gets a lot of searches nationwide. So those are terms that people look for and are commonly searched. Um, how you decide to title something or word something that might not be what other people are going to look for and so then your site's not going to come up. So we want to make sure that they're keywords that are, um, you know, buyer intent keywords that people are going to search if they're looking for your service and need your service in the area. So that's the first thing. Um, as I said, get these images uh, saved as keywords. You don't want them to just be random stuff. Make sure they're saved as keywords. Um, that'll also help you get found for those keywords. And then I would probably move the, the mission, the meet the owner stuff to like an about us page. And then just talk more about what you're trying to do, um, what services you're trying to provide. So if we look at some of the competitors in the area for home care assistance, um, they they have their care, their YS, their careers, and you know their various tabs. But this home page, they they go into you know senior home care, elder care services. So they're trying to do some keywords that they think they might get found for. They're explaining you know what they provide, why you might want to choose them. Um, different, you know, customized plans or what have you. They kind of go into a little bit of detail about their services. Um, same thing with here. You know, they're they're trying to kind of uh, talk about their services, the right care, finding quality care. Um, they're they're talking about what they do and they're letting Google know what to find them for. Um, people aren't going to be searching about you. Um, and your background. So I would cover what you're trying to accomplish for them. You're getting quality home care for seniors. You're um, trying to target different areas. So um, I saw that you were doing part, different parts of counties. So you want to get found for different counties and different cities and what have you. So you want to specify what um, you're trying to be searched for. And um, then Google will know that when somebody says home care assistance, and they're searching in Medina that they should return you as a result because you you know meet that criteria. Um, so that's the first thing. The second thing is citations. So what's a citation? A citation is your name, address, and phone number on the web. 
Um, so usually you would have those new directories, such as the Yellow Pages, Yelp, Yext, um, Facebook, Better Business Bureau, all these places that you can list your information. You would want to make sure that you have um, a listing with Google Maps. And then from there, you want to make sure that however you list it, um, if you abbreviate something, if you um, leave a word off, if you include a word or what have you, however you have it listed with this Google Map listing, you want to make sure that every place you put it, it's the exact same so that Google can connect the dots. And once they connect the dots, they're going to see like the top businesses in the Medina area for home care. They have around 30 different citation sources. So different tools like this tell us how many they have, where they're at. And I can go in and see like which directories they have them on and then make sure you're on the same directories of a bunch of these different ones so that you have more than them. And that'll help you beat them out and get listed up here. Because when somebody searches for home care assistance in Medina, chances are they're either gonna click on somebody here or they're gonna click on somebody here. It's not very often that you say you all and you start paging through places, especially if it's somebody that's coming to my house and I'm not actually having to go to that location. Um, and it's not as often that we're going to page to page one, two, three, four, five of the Google results. You're probably just going to take the home page results and click on one of these top ones. So citations is how you get into this and help boost yourself up. Also make sure you're getting some reviews um, from your clients. Um, so that you build up some credibility as well. That goes a long way too. The third thing is backlinks. So what is a backlink? It's anytime your um, website address, your URL, is listed on another website. So you might have cleveland.com might talk about your business and give your name, address, uh, your, your link to your um, company's website that somebody can click on and go through, that would be a backlink. If it's if they can click on it and they show up on your website, that's a backlink. So people get them from various places. They might um, reply to a blog. They might write a blog article on somebody else. They might do a guest post on somebody's website. Um, a business might review them. Sometimes you'll see the articles that are, you know, the 10 best home care services. So if you're listed on that, chances are they gave you a link. Um, so that's a backlink. So backlinks aren't all created equal though. Google um, views it as kind of a popularity contest and they have the more sites you find you on, the more they trust you because they figure that the person that puts you on their site trusts you and thinks you're credible and you're a good business, they wanna be associated with you. But you get more credit for ones that are associated, that are like relative to your, your business. So either ones that are location specific, so if you get a, a backlink on a site that's related to the Medina area, the Cleveland area, the Strongsville area, whatever areas you want to target for your business, um, or ones that are specific to your niche. So things that have to do with the elderly, with senior care, with health care, with companion services, that kind of thing will carry more weight than if you got a link on Pizza Hut's website. So that's one factor of them. And then the other one is different websites have different strengths. So right now you don't have any backlinks on yours. And so your domain rating is like non-existence. So Google doesn't really trust you much. So if I got a backlink on your site, it really wouldn't do anything for me because Google doesn't really trust you. It's not giving me any power. But if you get a, a backlink on a site that has a good amount of power, like right at home, um, Net, Medina, that one site that I was looking at, this site here. Um, so they have a domain rating of 68. That's a really good domain rating. So if you got a link from somebody like this that has a good domain rating um, and they push you some power, then it's really going to help in the eyes of Google a lot more than somebody else's site who doesn't have any power. So we would do is go in and see this um, company right now is getting 11 um, different websites that have this site with this URL, it's a back page, listed on them. 
and we can see exactly where they're at. And we could go and see, if we click on this place, can we go get a link um, for your site on that same site, on that same page? Um, because if this stuff's ranking them well, then chances are it's gonna rank you well. So that's one strategy. And we can see what the home care assistance place that we also pulled up this place. We can see what they're doing. They've got their website address listed on 82 different websites and they have a domain rating of 70. So they're also very trusted. Now, some of this um, rating is getting pushed through from their actual, just like their URL and it's powering this um, back page for Cleveland. But we can go and see what different websites, once again, they have and which ones have a strong domain rating and strong UR rating. And then go, you know, see if we can get you put on that too. And once they trust you, when, when they see that, okay, you do home care services in Medina based on your content that you're going to put on your site, they'll know to return you for this. But how do they decide if you're on page 10 or page one? It's how much they trust you. And how much they trust you is based on these backlinks. So that's how these people are ranking here instead of on page 10 is the backlinks that they put to their site. And then they get anchor text too. That helps let them know that home care assistance is what they should be found for. Um, and so these are just some of the things that you can do to help get your um, website more traffic and um, that traffic will hopefully uh, get you some sales. So once again, it's content, relative information, targeting keywords, citations, name, address, and phone number found on different directories, and then citations, the backlinks um, with credible sources to get you some authority with Google. So hopefully this has been educational. You can either um, try to apply this yourself or you're welcome to reach out for a free discovery call. Um, and we can see how I can help you and you can save time and focus on what you do best. Have a great day.